Hey guys, how are you? I am Julie Samako and I am taking over Carolina Pottery's page today. We are going to do a quick store walkthrough. I am here at the West Columbia location and I cannot wait to show you all of the goodies. You guys think I'm crazy because I get in here and well maybe you guys can relate to me, but I get in here and I just kind of go like I just get excited because it's all things ribbon. It's all things Christmas already. And I cannot wait to show you what they have. So let me do a little switcheroo on the camera and I'm just gonna walk through the store and you guys have got to come check it out. I mean, you really do. It is amazing. I'm at the West Columbia location, but they have um, four locations throughout the area. They've got one in Myrtle Beach, um, South Carolina. They've got one in Georgia. They've got one in Smithfield, North Carolina. So Augusta, Georgia is what I should have said. So they've got them everywhere. That you come into their locations and look at what they have to offer. You guys, look at this tree. Okay, so let me just do a quick span so you can get it feel. So you come in and there's trees that are decorated with their different themes. And this is why I love that. You get to see the product displayed in an actual tree. I'm gonna to try to slow down a little bit. I don't wanna give anybody like motion sickness. Are you guys sneaking this video from work? So they've got pre-made wreaths that are good, but look y'all, look, the trees continue all the way down and then all the way through the store. It is so fun. This is like a crafter's heaven. I'm not gonna lie, this is like a crafter's heaven. Let me just show you some of the things that they have. Here we have blue and white. So if you follow the decor trends, you know that any shade of blue is popular right now. So popular. Um, I'm a maker and I like to make anything that's like really trendy and this is popular. All of the blues, the navies, um, mixed with di the different whites and silvers, so pretty. So they have all of these different items around the base of the tree, which I like. So you don't have to go hunt for things. If you see something that's really pretty on side of a tree, you just look down around the base of it and, it, and it's there. So let me show you, so we've, oh, we've got some polar bears and some more ornaments down here. And then here is another pre-made. How pretty is that? This is so pretty. Okay, so let me look at this one. Um, sc scroll down about around here. How about this one? So we've got, um, this is so pretty because this is the Buffalo check, which is very popular. These to me, look amazing in a tree. Um, they give that dimension. And we've got more black and white. Black and white is another color trend. You guys have got to come check out this West Columbia store or the Augusta store or any store closer to you. So look, you guys, this is $2.49. Oh my gosh. How pretty is that? Make sure to join their uh, Lifestyle Club. So if you go to carolinapottery.com and click on the Lifestyle Club, join their mailing list and you'll receive 10% off your next purchase. So you get a coupon for 10% off and you can use it either online or you could come into their store and use it. Oh my gosh. How adorable is this? This to me will look amazing on in a... Um, a floral arrangement or it will look cute on a wreath or you can just have them setting right here you know just on top of the mantle just for more um, snow if you're a snowman freak like I am this is a cute and I love that the scarf is wired so you can shape and bend the scarf to make it fit it's so so pretty for some reason I'm not seeing comments so if if you're watching, comment so I can see if you're watching. Tell me if where you're from so that I can see if the comments are showing. For some reason, it's I don't see any yet. But here's more black and white mixed in with the red. And you've got the really pretty snowman ornaments. And take a look at these hydrangeas. How pretty is that? How pretty is that? You guys, how many trees do you put up in your house? Oh my gosh. I have got to have that snowman 
How cute does that snowman look just nestled in? So, so cute. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So we've got all these different um, snowmen and the uh, plaid, the buffalo shack. There's more black and white over there. And then we've got the snowman over here in the red and black, which is really pretty. So we've got more snowman. And then let's see, what other tree should I go look at? I hate that I'm not seeing your comments. I don't know what Facebook is trying to hold it back. I don't know why. Sometimes that happens with technology. It just doesn't work the way you like. So if I miss a comment or a question, we can come back in here and answer them later. But look at all of the really pretty. I love this. I love the uh, striped ornaments and the matching striped ribbon. That is so pretty. Really, really pretty. So at my house, we put up six Christmas trees, y'all. We are extra. And we are gonna start bringing them down this weekend and start um, incorporating them into, it takes us that, it takes me that long. I just all about Christmas. I love, love Christmas. All of these really pretty things. Um, again, if you join their lifestyle club, which is um, their mailing list, you'll receive 10% off coupon in your email that you could use either online or while in store. All right, so let's see. Let's go over here. Because I see a theme that is really popular. It's the red truck theme. That red truck farmhouse theme is so popular. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? A little barn for your home decor for Christmas. We've got signs. And then check out this mesh to go through your tree. Isn't that beautiful, the buffalo plaid? And you've got little ornaments. We've got the mittens and the snowflakes. And these, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I love that, I love that. All of the, you've got, you've got some things that are just pretty that you could just put on your, you know, your mantle or a side table, help bring in some of that black and white into your home decor. <clears throat> We've got more things over here. The red truck. And I, I almost missed this. Look how big that is. That looks amazing in a tree, doesn't it? Don't um, be afraid of adding larger items into your tree. So even up here, they've got a large Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas sign and a farmhouse Christmas sign. So make sure to intermingle large items with the smaller items. And then if you need a tree skirt, they have tree skirts here. You guys need to come here tomorrow. I'm serious, there is so much here. So let's walk, I'm gonna keep walking. And I hate that I can't see your comments. I think other people, if you're watching and you know the answer, feel free, <laughs> feel free to answer anybody's questions because I, for some reason, can't see anyone's comments. But here is the lime green and red and more items around their tr this tree. Of course, they've got the pre-made wreaths. If you want a pre-made wreath, they've got all of that here. Um, and pretty much everywhere, pre-made stuff. If, if crafting isn't your thing, but look at this. You don't have to really be a, a, a big time crafter to buy one of these and stick them in your Christmas tree and have a lot of fun, whimsical um, look to match your color theme. I love those. I love the little marshmallows that come out of the tree. That is so cute. How fun is that gingerbread with all of the candy cane picks at the top? How fun is this? I, I cannot wait to go shopping. I have got so many ideas. It's not even funny. I'll have to hide that receipt from the hubs. You guys, you know you do it too. 
you know you do it too you had all that from your hubs you're like oh I didn't get anything but it was all on sale <laughs> so we've oh and look at this one this was the snowball how pretty is this all right so we've got all the white oh my gosh this is just stunning the light on the camera just just does not do it justice look at this look at that magnolia with just a little bit of pink in it whenever you're looking at your florals to try to decide what to purchase take a look at the whole flower all of the different colors and textures um, you'll be amazed at how you could use that flower in other things oh that's so pretty <clears throat> okay so one thing on this tree that draws my attention and I was gonna see if I could find them around here. And there it is. Okay, so there is, you see that large snowflake? And um, I incorporate these into my wreath. I, ha I mean, into my tree. I actually have about five of these on my Christmas tree at home. How cute is that? So I, you could put them in this way, or you can angle them to where they're poking out of the tree just a little bit to give it a little dimension. Shows up a little bit um, more. So that's really pretty. And then we have all of these ornaments, twigs. I love twigs, the natural look in a wreath. So pretty. And then we've got gold and bronze and champagne. Look at that. So I have these on uh, my trees in my dining room. All this, this is like my color theme right here. I love this, it's just neutral. So pretty. And then you've got, oh, look at that dove. It just adds a really pretty elegance to your wreath. So no matter what your style is or your design preference, whether it's glam and elegant, or maybe it's fun and whimsical, or just rustic and farmhouse, they pretty much have it all here. They pretty much have it all here. These would look beautiful on um, your mantle, or maybe you have a buffet. For example, they have it displayed right here on a buffet. That is so pretty. You could even get a smaller one, put it on an end table, put it, set it inside of a wreath if you want a, a quick and easy table arrangement. But you guys, there's so many really pretty themes here for the holidays. And they have all of the gingerbreads, all of the different candy canes. And of course they have all of these really pretty signs that I personally like to incorporate into my wreaths. So they've got that. Oh, lovely. Dear Santa, define naughty. Like exactly how bad is naughty? So this is cute. Oh my gosh, how fun is this color? love this color of blue and the hot pink this would to me would look really pretty in um, a candy themed wreath if you had or a candy themed tree even if you were just doing um you know some maybe cupcakes or peppermints or and the nose um, can bend right back into shape <laughs> or if you want to curl it up you could curl it up i love that that is so cute and then you've got the turquoise it's just really trendy right now and then you've got the vintage so you see how it's got the old timey um, Santa here. So we'll, I'll show you some more vintage stuff that they have here in the store on the other side. Again, I, if you're just joining me, I'm at the West Columbia Carolina Pottery going through some of their Christmas stuff. So they have all of these really pretty um, you know, tin cans and signs. And this right here will make a beautiful flower arrangement. Just use that for the con container. That is so cute. And I hate that I can't see your comments. It's so weird. Here, if, if you're into farmhouse, they have other things like, you know, farmhouse baskets and containers, things like that. But I wanted to come over here and show you some of the Christmas stuff on the ends. Look at these. I love, love, love these signs. These would look so pretty um, just displayed on the kitchen counter or displayed over, you know, your sink just to add a little more Christmas. They've got, looks like some chargers here and tablecloths and they've got all of the mugs. How cute is this? All right, so this is so pretty. This reminds me of a sweater 
and then it's got the buffalo check on it. Maybe even got buffalo check salt and pepper shakers. Red truck theme. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. You guys, you guys should be here. And this is amazing. So this would even look good pretty just on an easel if you're trying to decorate your home. And they've got the matching mugs. So these would, to me, would be good if you want to give, let's say, a teacher gift or a little Cersei to someone at church that you're thinking about them. Fill it with some, you know, candy or, um, I don't know, a gift card. And that would make a little presentation for a gift. And then all of these really pretty signs. So I would put one of these on my front porch. Cute, 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 cute. All right, let's just keep walking. So they've got other Christmas stuff over here. More signs. Merry Christmas signs. To me, I think these are the perfect size for if I was going to make a wreath right here. This is pretty. All of these little sayings. So we've got more. And again, if you're just joining me, I'm in the West Columbia Carolina Pottery Store. They've got four locations. So they've got the West Columbia, South Carolina. They've got um, Augusta, Georgia. They've got Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And then they've got the Smithfield, North Carolina store. So go check them out. They've got so much stuff in here. It's so hard to decide. You guys, it does not get any cuter than that. It's just so furry. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Okay, I've got to calm down. People are looking at me. Oh, that is so pretty. That's so pretty. I'm like already thinking of Christmas gifts, you guys, because look, we've got blankets. Blankets. So I like to just uh, pop in some color. Like if my color theme is the buffalo plaid in the black and the white or the red, just get one of these throw pillows and you throw it over your um, sofa and it just adds that pop of color. Then you could add some, you know, a couple of the pillows on the other side of the room to bring in some of that fun Christmas color. Here's another. So this is really pretty. Even these two together look so cool right here. And then here is like the back side. So we've got um, more stuff. I just want to show this Santa. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? How cute is that? And you guys, gnomes are so popular. Look at that gnome. We've got gnomes. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. There's so much here. I can't even, I don't even think I could fit it all in a video. I'm like a kid in a candy store, you guys. If you're in a rush and you just want to get something for that secretary at work, or you want to just give something to your mom and you don't have a lot of time, just come get a, a pre-made arrangement. We've got the gold pillows. And then we've got some Christmas trees. I'm, okay, so I have a couple of these at my home too. I like just staggering these, like have a large one and a medium one and a smaller one. And I put them on the side of my fireplace just to give a little bit of Christmas um, into the area. So you've got like the lime green or the red. And then look at these. These are um, Trent, these are just tinsel trees. This, okay, you guys, I'm a crafter. So I go and look like down in this. Okay, I'm like, okay. So it's already in a container. I can add something really pretty right here to fill it in. I can, all of these are bendable, like really thick. Let me see if I can show you. Like really, look how much that bends. So really thick. I can decorate this and then I can give it as a gift, put it at the office, you know, those areas where you can't necessarily put a large tree. I'm thinking like my daughter's dorm room. That is a perfect size. They have all of these things and then they have even more pillows, more pillows down here. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love gray this year for some reason. I am just drawn to grays. Isn't that pretty? And again, I can't see your comments for some reason, and I hate that. So if you're here and you know the answer, help anyone out answer asking a question. 
all of these different throw pillows that you could put on your bed. You know, sometimes we want a little decoration into our bedroom, but we don't necessarily want to put a Christmas tree or anything. Just get some of these throw pillows, throw it on your bed, and then now your bedroom is festive. All right, so we've got pillows. Oh, and there's other pillows over here I didn't even see. They're more like vintage, more vintage Christmas. Cute. And then I wanted to also bring my, your attention to this area. Okay, so when I come into Carolina Pottery, this is always my go-to place because they have wreaths for all, all different sizes. So they've got like, I think this is a, uh, 20 it looks like almost like a 30 inch it is oh I'm pretty good 30 inch we've got 24 inch so no matter what size of wreath that you need you might need a 48 let's say you're decorating for your office or you have just a really big door <laughs> they have even larger they've got 60 inch they've got flocked if you like the snow covered look they've got that they've got uh, swags and teardrop sprays I mean, teardrop swag. So this is a large, I haven't even seen a 40 inch teardrop swag, but here they are. Garlands. So we've got nine foot garlands. And let me just talk to you a little bit about your garlands, y'all. These are designer. And I can tell you why, how I know that. Do you see how long the stem is on this garland? This is, when you spread it out from tip to tip, it's, it spans 14 inches. So if you go from one side, I'm trying to do it with my phone. So you've got one tip to one tip. This is 14 inches. This will make a huge impact on your door, or maybe you wanna put it on your fireplace, over your fireplace, or just lay it and drape it on top of a buffet. You can do that, but they have all these different type of pine garlands. They've got lit, if you want pre-lit ones, they've got those. Um, I tend to lean towards um, the ones that I can decorate and then put the lights on last so that I can, you know, change it up. Sometimes I want blinking lights and sometimes I want solid lights. 30 inch teardrop swag. And they've got the ones that have the different pine. So let me lean in a little bit more. So let me give you an example. So right here is three different types of pine. So you've got one that's a little longer and you've got this short needle pine and one that's even a different texture. I don't even pretend to know my pines, but I like when there's different textures because it really just adds to the uh, overall appearance. Especially this is so pretty that once you fluff it, all you really need is a bow and it's really pretty. So we've got other things down here, more garland with the mixed pines down here. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, and it just keeps going. So we've got more over here. So here's an 18 inch wreath for $4.99. So don't you know, these little wreaths are cute to decorate and give to somebody in a nursing home, or maybe you have somebody in the dorm room that you want to have a little, you know, a little wreath. Um, they're really good for gift giving. They also have the 24 inch for $9.99 and then 30 and all of the different sizes. And here's more of the flocked. Look at this, how pretty is this? This is so pretty. So all I would do if it, um, this is just so pretty, I wouldn't even wanna cover it up. I would just fluff it and give it some shape. And then I would head over to the next aisle and get me a red bow. And then I would put it on the wreath and then hang it on the door and I'm ready. And I'm ready. So let's see, what are, okay, I wanna go through here and show you some of the Christmas trees. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is real to touch. This is so beautiful, so beautiful. So here are all of their different Christmas trees. And I've uh, purchased my trees from here. I've purchased, uh, last year I got two actually. And I think they were, uh, they were definitely flocked. And I think it was this one because I liked that it was, um, it was either this one or this one because I liked the flocking. So whether you want one that has a lot of snow cover on it and just a few branches of the laying snow, or maybe you want um, 
the branches that have the really heavy um, snow flocked, they have those options here. And look at this. This is a really cute little pencil Christmas tree and they've got one that's even taller. So they've got all the different sizes here. And I apologize again for not being able to see your comments. I hate that. But I'm gonna do my best to show you as much as I can. And if you have any questions, I will come back and answer. All right, so this is the Carolina Pottery West Columbia store. I, I'm standing here and it even smells like Christmas. What the heck, how is that possible? Maybe I'm just so excited to be here. <laughs> it's so pretty. Wait, are these real? No, that's not real. Oh, I see why. They've got these little fresheners right here that you could put in your tree and it just makes it feel like Christmas, smell like Christmas even. So they have all of these different really pretty um, larger figurines that you could put in. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die right now. Look at this. Look at this. Don't you know I'm coming away with a couple of these. I love these. This is um, pretty just to hang on your wall by itself or I like to put flower arrangements in it. Maybe that'll be a project that we could do, but I like to put little flower arrangements inside of the tobacco basket. So you can either, I'm gonna see if my arm is long enough. You can hang it this way as a diagonal. Or you can hang it square. So you could do it either way and you could put your flower arrangement in the center or maybe you wanna put it on the corner at the bottom. So this is really versatile. So they've got the tobacco baskets are over here. You guys need to come, oh my gosh. Yes, how cute, how cute. How cute. You guys have got to see this in person. This is so amazing. Look at that. I love this. All of the different fun containers. So, so cute. What would you put in there? What would you put in this little snowman container? And they've got different styles. I'm looking at that and thinking to myself, what would I put in there? I could, you could almost put a little Christmas tree, you know, coming out of the top. They've got um, these top hats, which would really be pretty in a tree if you wanted to do a tree topper. And they've got the snowmen. All of the different snowmen and the colors. There's that gray again. There's that gray. Love this. All right, so let's see. I'm going to walk over here and show you this side. So don't forget to join their Lifestyle Club if you go to carolinapottery.com. Click on the Lifestyle Club link and join their mailing list and you'll receive 10% off your order. A coupon that you could either bring into the store or use it when you shop online. Now they don't have necessarily all of this stuff online but they do have a lot of ribbon and mesh if you're into um, wreath making like I am. Look at all of these really pretty things. I love it. So they've got red truck stuff. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It looks like it's been sawed in half, which is perfect for putting in your Christmas tree. You wanna put it in your Christmas tree, you wanna put it in a wreath, or they have ones that are not sawed in half, it's the full. And you could put a little floral arrangement in the back I've done that before, so cute. And they have all of these different, they've got signs. So I've even taken a sign like this and um, we cut off the stake and I can attach it into a wreath if I want to put it on my door. Or you can take it and leave it like it is and put it in your planters on either side of your door for a really cute little look. We've got all these different signs over here. These are so, so pretty. I'm gonna to try to slow down. I know I'm going, it's hard for you to grasp. It's so hard for you to grasp when you're looking just on the small camera. All right, let's see, where do I wanna show you? I'll choose this aisle. So we have all these different signs and all the different themes that you're after and then we've got some more stockings and we've got tree skirts I 
I was gonna ask you guys if you could hear me okay, but I can't see your comments, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me. If not, it's just pretty to look at. You guys need to really come in though. Look, it does not get cuter than this. It does not get cuter than this. So this, if you have, this was what I would put on my coffee bar in my kitchen or right beside my little coffee maker so that I could look at it and go, I love Christmas. I am gonna have a great day. I believe in the magic of Christmas. I love that. I love that. So they have gift bags if you need a gift bag for all the things. And they have really large, large signs. That's a yard stake actually. And more really pretty festive pillows, pre-made arrangements on top of candlesticks. And this is one of my favorite things. When I came in here, I was like blown away. This just brings back so many memories because when I was growing up, my um, mamaw used to have the Mrs. Santa and the Santa Claus on their on our front porch. And I just looked at that and I was like, oh my gosh, that brings back so many memories. Vintage is so, I can't believe I'm old enough to say that I grew up and I'm now it's vintage, but it is, this vintage is so popular right now. So you've got the vintage uh, snowmen and the Santas and Mrs. Claus and even these large um, light up light bulbs that you could put up there on your door or draped in your trees in your yard so here's more santa and elf theme how cute is this i love that ribbon so festive we need to find the ribbon aisle y'all let's go find the ribbon aisle y'all know i'm a ribbon addict oh wait Let's get distracted and look at the Santa. Oh my gosh, his little popcorn beard. Yes, I'll take this. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. So there's a couple, is this a different one? No, it's the same, okay. And then they've got the trees that are like a little frosted and they're reindeers. How cozy is this? I am loving this. Oh, I could live here. I could actually live here. More snowmen. Can you tell that snowmen are really popular this year? Oh, I love the snowman sign. Oh, I see we're getting closer to the ribbon. We're getting closer to the ribbon. How pretty. They've got the snowman version or the elf version. You take your pick. More signs, more signs, really pretty. I love this one. Oh my gosh, yes. This would be really pretty at your front door. Just propped up against the door. If love the um, angels. So these are bells that they've made them out, uh, made them into angels. How cute is that? And they've got more red truck. They've got these amazing containers right here ready to be planted. You can plant a uh, fresh flower. You can do soap flowers in here. And it's got a band of the um, black and white buffalo check. Ribbon, I'm getting closer to you. So look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is what I'm drawn to right here. How cute. It's got the vintage Santa. Yes, how cute is that? How cute is that? And they've got candy cane themed. They've got these um, containers to me that I like. I just kind of fluff them a little bit, but I put them just around the house. It could be by the front door. It could be on my office desk. Just, it just needs a little love. You just need to like bend it out just a little bit. Just to, you know, give it a little TLC. But then it's, it's ready to be put on top of your um, desk or to give as a gift, just to give a little bit of fun Christmas air to an area. And there's a really pretty uh, barn. 
These are pretty. I love those. So those to me look a little bit more formal, which is amazing. So they got all the different styles. Vintage trucks and the Santas. If you, again, if glam is your style, they've got that here too. And they've got these really pretty ornaments that have the fuzzy beards. If you're like to collect Santas. So I one time I had only a Santa tree and all I had on it was uh, different Santa Clauses. So that these would be really pretty on that tree. And they've got more signs. You guys, when you come in, walk around everywhere because I find that the signs are just a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. It's like a treasure hunt. I know you can't see my face, but I am about to freak out a little bit. It's so much fun in here. All right, hold on. Here's this. I'm just loving these. I might get a few of these to put on my, um, my fireplace mantle and they've got the different sizes so they've got some that are a little you know taller and wider all right so we've got some over here more containers so if flower arranging is your thing so these are really cute again flower arranging inside of them or fill them up with gift stuff wrap it with a little cellophane and you've got a lot of um, potential in that Give it as a gift. They've got those containers that are in larger sizes with the black and white. Oh, and they've got the square ones. So many options here. It's like you can't, you you just get so creative when you walk in here. You just get so creative wanting, wanting to do so many things. I love this. Right, these are really cute for, again, if you want to give as a gift and fill it up or fill it with flowers. And I've made wreaths with these, these large um, grapevine birdhouses. So those are pretty. If you want a pre-made bow, they've got those over here. I'm getting closer to the ribbon. Oh my gosh, I just saw something, you guys. They have a $1.99 bin, and it's filled with Christmas ribbon. A $1.99 for 10 yards. Are you kidding me? This is a steal. All right, and then all of the, the Santa theme is so popular. This, what are they thinking? This is good for all year round. So even if, you, this is good. You could come here and stock up on stuff for all year round. This would work all year round. But look at this one too. How cute is that? $1.99. That is really cheap for ribbon. All right, so we've got bows and pre-made. If you want to uh, buy the velvet ribbon yourself, and I mean, and buy, make the bows yourself, they've got that here. They've got it etched in gold. They've got wired. They've got non-wired. They've got burgundy. They've got a deep red. They've got the one and a half inch and the two inch. See, they've got it where it's not gold on the edge. It's just the um, same color. So they've got that option. We found it, y'all. We found it. Ah, all of the angels are singing because here is the ribbon. This is my, this is my weak spot right here. Ribbon, I love ribbon. Ribbon is so versatile. Ribbon adds that punch of color, right? And softness and texture and dimension and whatever craft you're making. <laughs> I love that it has all, they have all the different sizes. So they've got this four inch, they've got a four inch um, plaid. They've got the two and a half inch. They've got one and a half inch. They've got mesh, if you need some mesh. If you like decorating with deco mesh, Let's see, they've got all, oh, look at that. How cute. I love this. Now this is interesting. This is navy, navy and gold. I should have brought a buggy over here. I'm gonna come back and get this one. That is very classy. I love that. Navy is so popular right now. So they've got all of the different ribbons. Just love, love, love. 
They've got those farmhouse ribbons, you know, that are really popular with the, the navy or the um, black and the red. And here's something I've not seen very much. That's really pretty. They've got blue, if you've got, if blue is your theme. Now, you know, when I'm, I'm a maker, so when I come in here, I look at ribbon and I also think about other seasons. Whoops, also think about other seasons. So I can use this for summertime, spring. This can work for summertime as well. You know, I just look at it and see, okay, well, how else can I use it? Because to, to me, that just justifies it in my head why I should definitely buy it. They have all of these pre-made items, the wreaths. Um, again, if you just want to come in and grab something quick to give as a gift or hang up in that bare spot of your home, I personally like to buy these swags. Um, all of the work is done. All I have to do is make a bow and put the bow on the top and it's ready to go. So I like that. And let's see, we've got other things over here. We've got the flowers. So if you're still decorating for fall, We've got some fall flowers over here, and they have Christmas. So one thing about the silk flowers, here's a tip for you. If you've got a Christmas tree that, let's say it's kind of old and dated, and you know, you don't want to like invest in a new one this year, take some of these branches or these bushes, and then you can cut them off of the bush and fluff them and put them in your tree and then just lay them in there. Um, I'm going to show you some on the other side that I like. I do that um, in my own tree. So I actually have a tree that is not flocked. It's just a regular, you know, a regular Christmas tree that's green. Ooh, look at the ivy. Not the ivy. What is this? The um, holly bush. Even if you just stick this into your Christmas tree, it gives another texture of greenery and color. It's got the variegated leaves. I love that. So I've used that many times in projects. You can't go wrong with that. It always looks pretty. Daniel and they've got one, one. all of these different poinsettias that you can just lay into your wreath, I mean into your Christmas tree, or put in a wreath, or just lay it on. Um, I even have sometimes when I just take one of these really pretty poinsettias that's a little large and I just lay it on an, um, a shelf it just adds that little bit of color so I was going to show you some okay so I liked this pick right here so this one is a poinsettia pick it's got two um, flowers on it so it's almost like two for the price of one if you ask me again you're going to just fluff it a little bit so you can either divide it and use it in one flower arrangement, or you can lay it into your Christmas tree just as it is long like that. So I kind of was drawn to that one, and I liked the white. I like this white one. And then let's see what else I was gonna show you. The, okay, so I put a lot of this in my trees. So this right here, you see how it's just like, has a little bit of frost on it? And then this too, look. So if you don't wanna necessarily get a flocked tree, but you want some of the flocking in your tree, I take some of these and then just put them in and around my tree. Um, you would be amazed at how much just that adds. And you stand back, once you get it decorated and you stand back, you cannot tell that that is not a flocked Christmas tree. These would be another example of ones that I would use to do that. And then the juniper, oh my gosh, they've got juniper. So the other tip I have for you for when you decorate your Christmas tree, even if you don't want the flocking and you just want, you know, a regular green tree, take these junipers or anything. Here, here's one. It has a different texture to it. All I do is I take it off the bush and I um, cut them off just with a wire cutter and I just lay them on the branches. Um, on my tr Christmas tree and it gives a different texture to it a different color and a different texture I use these so much oh my gosh look how that just drapes isn't that beautiful all that snow all that snow is just so pretty and then what else where else where else can I go let's walk over here look how big this place is you guys you could literally get lost you could literally get lost. This is what I would be doing, you guys. I'd be like telling my boss I've got a doctor's appointment. And then I would be coming over here to Carolina Pottery. 
and getting my game on, my Christmas game on. So here's more of the poinsettias. Oh my gosh, you know that ribbon that I just showed you with the navy and the gold? Wouldn't that be amazing with that? Or even with this, look at those just paired together. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. And I liked these, they, they were, um, you know, the snow flock, snow flocked ones and these are so pretty this is a versatile piece um, make sure you you know bend and shape all it because you're gonna pick them up and they're gonna look like this you've got to take the time to fluff it and fan it out to see the beauty of it so I love that it's got a little bit of fur on the edge this would look really pretty in a neutral Christmas tree I love that you can incorporate this color which is neutral to any other color that you know red or green that you might be um, decorating with all right, so let's see, we've got, okay, another favorite thing of mine. They've got a, a bunch of um, the work wreath forms. If you like doing your deco mesh wreaths, they've got all these different colors. They've got the white and the burlap and the regular green and the lime green, which would work for Christmas. And also the red, if you're into the straw wreaths, they have that, but here we go, y'all, here we go. These are my favorites. I love these painted grapevine wreaths because you don't have to put so much on it. You could just decorate one side of it and then be done. Here is uh, the lime green color and the red. I always come in here and stock up on those. They have other berries and picks here. Again, I apologize for not hearing, I mean, seeing your comments. Okay, I don't know what is up with Facebook, but here is another one. This is something I put in my Christmas tree. I also put these in my wreaths. These, each one of these stems bend and it gives a lot of texture to your projects. We've got some pre-made wreaths over there. It looks, I see a Christmas tree work form and here's more painted. So if you want more painted um, grapevine wreaths, here's one in gold. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look close, there's a little bit of a gold speck. Silver and they've got white and red and I liked this this is really pretty to put on a door you can just fill it with a floral arrangement so I know a lot of um, people that I talk to they have um, Etsy shops I mean I have an Etsy shop so I would come here a lot of times and just find things to make with my projects to sell in my Etsy shop and I love, 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 love. So I'm gonna be getting a buttload of those and I'm gonna be getting a lot of these candy cane things. These are so pretty. These look amazing. And a tree, I've, I've used them in a wreath already. You could put them in a flower arrangement. I'm, I just like, like that. And then they have them that are in the curly. So pretty, all of the different glitter stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so much. Did you enjoy that walkthrough? Are you guys as excited as I am? Um, you guys have got to come check things out. I'm still looking around, I need to stop. You guys need to come check it out. I'm gonna go grab a buggy and get some shopping done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Come to the location and check them out into the store and let me know if you have any questions. Again, I apologize, I couldn't see the comments. I don't know what is going on with Facebook, but um, anyway, y'all have got to come and check this place out. Again, join their mailing list at carolinapottery.com and click the Lifestyle Club and you'll have you'll get a, a coupon in, the, in your email, 10% off coupon, that you can either use online or in store. And I didn't even show you, they've got mesh, they've got the 10 inch mesh back there, and they've got, uh, I think, a few rolls of the 21 inch mesh, and they've got the work wreath forms and all of the ribbon and stuff like that online too. So um, give them a look online and definitely come into the store because you can't, You've, you, there's just so much. If you are within driving distance, you need to come. This is like, tell the hubs, you're getting in the car this weekend, we're taking a road trip, we're gonna go to Carolina Pottery and we're gonna get all the things for Christmas because this stuff doesn't last long. I'm just gonna tell you, I've, been, I've lived here for 10 years and I've been coming in shopping at Carolina Pottery for pretty much that, that long. And by the mid of November, this stuff gets picked over really fast. They, they go, everything goes really fast, so don't wait to come in and get your stuff that you need for your own Christmas trees. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this walkthrough. Um, again, I'm Julie Samako and thanks for joining and watching and have a wonderful weekend.